Okay, it's uh, 10 5 p.m. I have um, set up the parts kit for three modules. That's side one. And okay, there's side two. Notice the changes. I've got buttons in um, uh, 25, three buttons, three buttons in 26, six one and a half inch wires in 27, six one and a half inch wires in 28. Uh, I've got three sockets in 29 and three grommets in 30. I have the two and a quarter inch wires uh, with um, insulation stripped on both sides, short on one end, long on the other, in the uh, bin uh, underneath 26. Okay, so that's the way it's, it's lined up right now. And the first thing I'm going to do is prep these um, chips with their diodes. Okay, it's now 10-11, and these things have their diodes on them. Now I'm going to prep, I'm going to prep the transistors with their, with their paper clips. It's now 10-18 p.m., and I've got these transistors prepped. And I'm going to take a break so I can feed Tandy. Okay, it's 10-34, I'm back to work and I'm going to put these wires on these buttons and put the buttons back in those compartments. Thank you, Tandy. Okay, it's 1042. <clears throat> these buttons are all set there and here. And now I'm gonna go uh, actually bend the leads on all the components before I put them in the board. Okay, now it's 1045 p.m. I bent all the components like those and those and those so they're ready to slip in and i'll start with a board and start going down the components okay it's 1050 and i've got all of these chips soldered in it's 1054 and i have the first capacitor pushed in and soldered okay it's 1059 and i've got in the next resistor 102 and I've got in C2. Now for R4. 1108, I got R4 in there. One of the leads is way too close to another solder hole and I bridged it and had to fix it. Next C5, one microfarad. 1111 p.m. I got the uh, capacitors in, but uh, notice I put the wrong one here. I, it, it's still a one microfarad, so I didn't make a mistake, but I should have put that one, so I'll reverse it when I get to that step. 17 p.m. I got C3 in there and uh, next we're going to go for C4 another 0.1 cap 11:21 p.m. I got C4 in there now we're going to go for C22 one micro I mean C11 uh, one microfarad okay that time I put in C11 R5 and R3 all at the same time and it is 11:29 now I'm going to put in U2 and Q1 at the same time. It's 11.34 and I have the transistors in there. Uh, transistor and regulator that is. And the next thing I'm going to do is put in C7 and maybe a few more components. Okay, 11.49 and I've got um, <laughs> I've got the R C7, R6, and R7 in there. I'm ready for step 18, which would be the teeny diode. And notice that I, I accidentally broke these. I must have clipped them. When I was doing my clipping, I clipped these, and they just broke right off. So I'm going to have some rework. But I'm not going to do it right now, because I want to see how long these boards take before rework. Okay, it's 12.02 uh, a.m. Um, I've got the... Uh, I'm down to step number 22. I'm ready to put in the 0 .033 tantalum capacitor, the LED, and the 20K pot. It's 12.09 a.m. I've got the, the diode, the LED, the pot, and the 0 .033 in there. And now it's time to do push buttons, the two push buttons. 14 a.m. And actually, I just did one push button because I decided I better do the octal wires before I do the other push button. 12.34 a.m. Got all the uh, octal socket wires on. 
the second button, and the diode is connected. Okay, it's 12.49, and I've finished these modules, uh, complete with sockets, everything except for the grommet. First comes testing, then comes the grommet. So let's see how long this took. 